So we were here. We are going to enter the uh, supplier invoice and with the withholding tax. Our batch was hardware. Go to invoice set. Enter the standard invoice. Yes, so This is one part done. Ten thousand. Okay. Now you can assign the withholding tax. Here, is great Allow tax with routing. Save it. So this one. 
Now we go to invoices entry, batches. Open voices. We are entering this one. Invoice withholding tax. Okay. Here in the list, we will see ten percent is there. Okay. Now go to distribution. Ten thousand. Account five double one zero and just save it. Just okay, still the withholding tax is not calculated. We can see here withholding tax, nothing is there. Now click on action. Validate. Click OK. See, now it calculated the withholding tax 1000. If you go to line level, you see withholding tax amount 1000. Okay, here what has happened that it has not created any invoice for the withholding tax. Uh, let me explain you the accounting in Oracle terms. This one here. Okay. So uh, when you have the invoice, that is when supplier invoices, it is expense account, debit, liability, credit. Right, Clavanya? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, when you have the uh, withholding tax applicable on this uh, invoice, what will be the entry? It is expense debit uh, let's say it was just for 10,000. Now what will happen? Uh, withholding tax account will be credit and liability account will be credit. Expenses 10,000. Withholding tax 1,000. Mm, liability 9,000. Right, Lavani? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Right now, uh, it has not in Oracle, there is two possibilities. Either you create the accounting entry or either you create an invoice. Okay, so this is what we have done just now. Expenses debit to withholding tax to liability. Like this, we have done just now. But when it is going to create an invoice, what we'll do it is, it is going to create an invoice for the withholding tax, the income tax India, it is going to create an invoice for that supplier automatically. So if it is going to create the supplier or withholding tax, here what is the account? It is uh, this account will, it is going to withholding tax supplier, uh, withholding tax liability to uh, Withholding tax, uh, five foot account. Both uh, in the both side account will be the same. 
it is the same 1332 account number 1332 account number but it will be credit of 1000 it will be debit of 1000 and uh, this will happen with this is with and on your invoice this is what we have done when there is no withholding tax invoice but when the withholding tax invoice will be done, this will change to like this withholding tax private account will be used private account is nothing but your same liability account so now we will see how this function behaves uh, we close this window Okay. Now we close this window. We go to setup tax, uh, not tax, but options in the options, payable options. In the payable options, you have withholding tax. In the withholding tax, create withholding tax invoice. We selected never. Now we select at the time of validation. Save it. Once you save it, for the already created withholding tax, it is not going to create any invoice. It is going to create an invoice uh, after uh, we enter a new invoice. Invoice patches. We go to the same patches, press F11. Hardware, then go to the invoices. Now we enter the invoice again. Standard ABC. Let's set it. The amount is. 10,000. And then this one. We have to assign the voucher number. Voucher number four. Go to lines. Lines and lines. How you enter the invoice the same way, just we are going to add the withholding tax code. Income tax withholding number is ten percent. Now complete the distribution. That is the accounting part for this event. Ten thousand. Even zero ten. Budgeting five double one zero. Done. Save this transaction. Close this one. Okay, now we go into the validation action. Validate. Okay, when we do validate, this is 1000 and 9000 is there. Uh, we close this window. Close this window as well. Come back again on this same batch. F11. Hardware. Control F11. Invoices. Okay. You see here. One invoice got created for withholding tax authority. Okay. Income tax India. 
for 1000 liability if you see the accounting for this what is the accounting distributions click on all distributions see this is the expense account and that is what we see in the liability account the same is the liability account same is the expense account so if i am using in my account uh, 1332 account number then 1332 account number this is 5110 1332 and this liability is uh, supplier liability 2210 okay so now if you see when i created the with invoice this one what has happened this is one accounting for the invoice expense account withholding tax pivot account liability account liability 9000 withholding tax pivot account 1000 as a credit now same account got debited so debit credit got cancelled now you have the final liability in the same account as 1332 with the invoice 1000 so this is how uh, when you select the different options for the withholding tax it works so lavanya any doubt for today uh, we have done the withholding tax uh, and uh, for withholding tax you must enable the option then you create a supplier then you create the tax code withholding tax code and update your some existing suppliers to, to allow withholding tax these are the basic steps to enable the withholding tax so this function you know now now you need to explore further more you need to do some practices in uh, changing the options of um, withholding tax and it will allow you to proceed further so we are done with the withholding tax today and credit memo as well tomorrow we are going to do the bank setup payments uh, pre payments and payments for the supplier these are the things we are going to do tomorrow so any doubt now lavani can ask me no no sir i uh, are you doing practice on the server oh yeah yes sir i'm practicing okay so for today we are done for this uh, session of accounts payable uh, okay sunday uh, sunday we have the class uh, but we will be doing a complete revision of accounts payable module okay so i start to end i am not going to do a setup again but i will be walking you through all through the screen so what all the basic setups you need to do Uh, based on which you can proceed further okay so, so sunday will be a revision session it will not be a, any new module we are starting so to, by saturday we are going to complete the account payable module by saturday sunday will be the revision for the account payable module and monday we will start the account receivable module okay okay sir okay. so see you tomorrow yeah okay thank you sir bye thank you bye bye